For this question, we're asked, what WL ratio is needed for an N MOSFET biased in triode with VGS equal to 1.8 and VDS equal to 0 volts, and to have a on resistance of 776.6 ohms? We have these other values here. Now, to solve this problem, we're going to look at the notes that are freely linked below the like button in the description on about page 78. And on page 78, we're going to look at some of the keywording here. So we have an N MOSFET biased in triode. So we have an N MOSFET in triode. This is the equation that we're going to be using. So our equation here is going to be I of D is equal to, we have our K apostrophe N, which we are given. We'll just write K apostrophe N though. We have our W over our L. And then we have our VGS minus VTN. So we'll just do VGS and that's in parentheses. This is become going to become very important in a second. Minus VTN, and then we have our VDS minus, then we have our one half, we have VDS, and this is squared. Now this confused me a little bit at first, but it's about to make a lot of sense. So what do we want to find? Well, we want to find the, well, not we want to find this, we want to find the WL ratio here, right? But an important part that we're given is this on resistance of 77.6 ohms. That's very important. And that's important because this I of D is going to be substituted for that. So I of D is going to be equal to, well, we're going to use Ohm's law. And I of D is equal to, or any I is equal to voltage over resistance, right? So if we have I of D here, we are going to have V of D. And this is just V D S. And then we are going to have this over our R of D which is the on. And if our VDS over our RD is plugged into our I of D, we can see that, well, we have a VDS right here, and then right here, and right here. So what we can do is factor out these VDSs and then cancel out. So this VDS is gonna cancel with this one, and then this is just gonna become a to the first power. Now VDS and the problem that we have here is equal to zero. So all of this is just going to be zero. So really we have what's to the left of this. So our ID is just gonna be one over our RD, and this is equal to our K apostrophe N. We have our W over L, and then we have our VGS minus our VTN. And then this is where we would plug in our value. So we have one over our resistance, and then we would move this to the other side. Basically um, what we would do is we need to take all this and divide it by one over k prime n, and then a vgs minus vtn. That way we can get it to uh, cancel out on this side, and then have it be on the other side, so that way we can solve for our w over l. And in doing this, we are gonna get that our answer is approximately 9.9. .9. And that's how we would go about solving this problem, and anything like it, the equations would just be very similar, so I believe I have a symbol lab here. We have one over the RD, and then we have our VGS minus VTN, and then we have our K of N for this problem. And that gives us about 9.9. .9.